Hello everyone, this is Roxas only 59 welcome back to One Piece Unlimited Cruise Episode 2. Last time we did a lot of side stuff, getting ourselves the remaining treasures in the game. That are available on this mode, I should say. We still have Treasure Map 10, again, can't do that until I play Unlimited Mode. It's really annoying. But, in this part, we're going to be tackling the third hidden boss of the game. Or I should be saying trying to tackle the third hidden boss in this game, because this boss is a doozy. So, we need 8 green GP, 8 red GP, 5 white GP, and 8 gold GP, as well as 5 pieces of wood. I'm going to need more wood after this. And we've made some stairs to the next ordeal boss. And, oh, I'm not looking forward to this. In fact, I'm going to go all out front and use the character that's going to be very helpful in this one. I've changed movesets off screen. No new moves have been learned. I'm just using Master Nail instead of the beans left because Master Nail when combined with thunder or fire powder, or even ice powder, for that matter, actually changes the element of Master Nail and what Frankie actually breathes. Pretty cool. But, let's fight the boss. Oh boy. You know, he's not wrong there. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet one of the former four emperors, Whitebeard. Whitebeard was known as the most powerful man in the world until he was killed at the Marine Ford Arc by Blackbeard. Uh, at this point, that would be three arcs after the Shabundi Archipelago. And, as a result, he had his devil fruit power taken from him by Blackbeard. That being said, what was his devil fruit ability, which he does not have in this game, thank god. His devil fruit ability was the Gura Gura Nomi, otherwise translated to as the Quake Quake Fruit, allowing him to cause earthquakes by banging the air with his hands. Yeah. There's a reason why he was called the strongest man in the world for a reason. And it's not because of that goddamn Halberd. Because that Halberd is something else. But, pretty much, Whitebeard was the most powerful person in the world and was Ace's captain. As Ace ended up serving Whitebeard and was Whitebeard's second in command. Well, technically third in command, because I believe the first division... Yeah, because Whitebeard's captains were divided in divisions, and the first division captain was Marco the Phoenix, who is not inside this game. Uh, it should be mentioned that inside of the One Lim Unlimited Cruise SP games, uh, specifically the first one, you can play through the Marine Ford arc, or the Paramount War as it is translated to nowadays, and Whitebeard has his devil fruit then. You're probably wondering what those little, like, white lines that are floating off of Whitebeard are. Those are IVs because at the point of the anime when he was introduced, he pretty much was connected to IVs and, like, medical equipment because Whitebeard is gosh darn old. I think by the time of the Paramount War, he was 80. He still was able to take on three admirals at once. You gotta watch out for Whitebeard. He is very strong. And not only that, he has a one-hit KO move. Because of course not. 
course, why wouldn't he have it? He also has ridiculous amounts of super armor. Because that is pretty much it. So we're going to be in this for probably about 30 minutes. Until I start spamming specials. Right, attack. He's very limited on his moveset starting out, but once he gets down to halfway, he gets a load more attacks, which is fairly annoying. I'm just gonna keep using the thunder powder. I've got a lot of thunder powder. I think that if I had um, the thunder dials, I think they might do more damage, but I've got more thunder powder and I don't want to grind up for other things. And as you can see, he can rarely get paralyzed. Like, it's very rare, but it is possible to paralyze him. Okay, I'm going to use a healing item because once I get him down to... <clears throat> once I get him down to more than it's more annoying. I've almost used up 30 of my thunder powder and I've done about a quarter of damage of his health. That's not bad. Okay, attack. Right. Let us use this. Again, Frankie's my go-to when it comes to Whitebeard because of the fact that, well, Whitebeard's really slow starting out. See, sometimes he just ignores everything, and it's annoying, and then he can hit you. Electricity! This is boring, I don't care. Whitebeard is a pain in the ass to deal with. Heal again. As you can see, I've got... Holy crap, that was way too close. Alright, I'm gonna actually combine that with that. And I'll put that on there. So the middle one's my go-to go to major healing items. We'll put the Let's use ice powder first. The three elements in this game. Nope, that's fire. One electricity. Attack, Whitebeard. Attack me! As I have spent seven minutes on this goddamn boss. This beats out Polly and Lucci already. Fun fact, in the different translations for the European dub of One Piece for this game, uh, in the English one, which it was the UK one, <clears throat> oh my god, it's so early in the morning that my voice is just not here today. Um, in the English one, which in my case is the UK one, I keep getting goddamn hit. Which is bad, because the moment I get one shot is, like, coming up soon. Um, in the UK one, his name is Whitebeard. In the... I believe it's German and French and other ones. Oh my god, I should have made more potions. In those ones, he is translated to Edward Newgate, his real name. Oh my god, look at how much damage he's goddamn doing. Oh my god, I hate you, Whitebeard. You know what? Screw it. I'm saving my healing items because it's getting annoying. I'm gonna start using this. Good 
Because Frankie is honestly the one who does the most damage with his master nail. But after that, everything goes downhill. And he just recovers so goddamn fast. Like, that's the worst part about Whitebeard. He recovers so damn fast. Come on, run. Run towards me. Run towards me. Why aren't you running? Oh my god, I hate my life. I hate my life and my choices right now. Like, choosing hard mode. Ugh. All he is is super armor. All he is is goddamn super armor. You could skip this part of the fight and you'd be missing nothing. Goddamn nothing. Although I have almost gotten his health halfway down. After this, I'm gonna just start spamming specials. Very rarely does he get point paralyzed. Oh, I'm out. Okay, time for the freeze. I've almost gotten Master Nail up to 20. Very rarely does he freeze, too. Like that. You know that he's freezing because it makes the ice sound. should just get healing candies. Okay, he's just about halfway down, which means he's gonna start doing this special where he's gonna become more of a pain. I really should have made, like, regular healing candy. So I'm actually gonna use a mixed one. The only one I'm hoping I have to use in this fight. Because I need to save my mixed candies for the next... Yep. Now he's gonna be more powered up and do more moves. Here's his special one hit KO. If you get caught directly inside him. Guess who spams this shit? Guess what else is annoying? Your lock-on gets undone if you end up getting hit by- oh shit. Holy crap. Like, the fact that your lock-on gets undone when he does his special is bullshit because you don't know what direction he's going in. See, like, I would have just walked into that. Oh my god, you're just spamming this. That's a bitch. Use it again. Holy crap. Okay, mixed candy. That deserves that. Frankie deserves that. <laughs> I should have gotten Kudo Vent up. Oh, 
Oh, Frankie's dead. Oh wait, I was still locked on. There's nothing but fresh fire. Nothing but fresh fire. All right, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Had to do something. Okay, no. Right, Master Nail is now level 20. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I'd like to set him on fire, that'd be nice. Uh, the long and patient game with Whitebeard. This is boring, I know, but let me tell you, Whitebeard is known to wreck people's shit. Barely by the halberd. So much fresh fire. I got caught in it. There was no way I was getting out of that. God. Oh my god. Almost walked right into that one. Whitebeard, stop. Whitebeard, stop, please. I just wanted to hit you. White beard. Right. I think I'm gonna lose Frankie soon. Make a screw up, and I'm gonna lose Frankie. All right, special. I need to add some flame dials. I could have thought someone I had some thunder. Did I put the thunder dials away by accident off screen? I think I did. Oh, I'm an idiot. Looks like the dials do do more damage. So the dials do slightly more damage. Oh, 
come on, why does that thing have such reach? See, imagine this if he had the ability to make earthquakes. That would be scary. Forever to a goddamn level up. Oh, Frankie's fucking dead. Oh! I had hope for like five seconds. Oh my god. I had hope for like five goddamn seconds. Fucking dead. This is where it all goes downhill, ladies and gentlemen. All goes downhill. Part is, it sets it to the camera to being right in fucking front of you. Like, that is the worst design for a boss. Oh, Zoro's dead. Yeah, he stood no chance against that. Like I said, this is where it all just goes downhill. Because this boss has some bullshit mechanics behind him. And by mechanics, it's more limitations of the game. Oh, it's off, Zed. I need to change one of Usopp's moves. I just realized I still have impact dial on. I need Shuriken. Oh, Usopp's dead. Oh my god, this is going terribly. Honestly... Oh, Nami's dead.
Nami's dead. Bye, Nami. Oh my god, you are a bitch, Whitebeard. Just gonna keep doing this. Bye, Nami. I'm so goddamn close. I don't feel bad about using a mixed candy. Fuck onto him, Nami's gonna be goddamn white beard. Oh my god. Unless I royally screw up, which is also a very big possibility. Goodbye. And that's Whitebeard. Almost 30 minutes. Holy shit. Oh my god. The moment I lost Frankie, I lost all hope in this fight. So, good job, Nami. You defeated one of the four emperors. And nine gold GP. With this, we can now access the final hidden boss of the game. You thought Whitebeard was bad. Wait till you meet this one. So, let us get ourselves a treasure, which is Revival Elixir. The Revival Elixir allows you to revive a crew member entirely uh, and completely. So, let's convert the points. I got... Den Den Mushi. And Rock. I need to make more candy and stuff to power up for the next hidden boss. Because I'm going to need a lot of healing items. Alright. I'm going to use Luke. I should use my, I should use my Maverick. Even though he didn't get used in that battle. Right. Okay, we got a mushroom. I need that. Looking for mushrooms. Why? Because I want to make more stuff. Golden meat sake. 
I need to get more wood. Mushrooms on that side. Mushrooms on that side. Mushrooms on that side. That was hell, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I used most of my items. Like, more items than I wanted to in that fight. Which depresses me greatly. Okay, mystery mushroom. Oh. Right, I unequipped my bug catcher now. Need to get it. Catch this. Got it. The crossbone butterfly. Catch that, and you can get yourself another revival of Go spotted Taylor. I need those two. Thank you.